As of December 24, 2020, new strains of the coronavirus had been detected in the UK, South Africa and Nigeria. Scientists said the strains evolved separately, but two recent cases in London with a new variant are both contacts of people who had recently been in South Africa. So what do we know about these new coronavirus variants? Are they more dangerous? Will they blunt the vaccines that have only just brought hope to the world? First of all, people shouldn't be panicking. Viruses mutate all the time. Just as we are shaped by evolution, it also shapes viruses. When our bodies develop antibodies against a virus, it would change its outer surface to avoid being recognized by the antibodies and immune cells in an attempt to survive. The virus that's responsible for COVID-19 actually has a mutation rate of almost once every month. For example, in June, a new variant of coronavirus was circulating in China, and another strain spread rapidly from Spain to half of Europe. In short, the virus hasn't stopped mutating since it was found in late 2019. It's just that this time, the virus mutated quite significantly. How different are these new variants to the older version of the virus that we are familiar with? The new coronavirus variants from the UK and South Africa both have a mutation called N501Y, a crucial part of the virus that it uses to infect the body's cells. The mutation was first detected in September, and by November, around a quarter of cases in London were caused by the new variant, and the number reached nearly two-thirds of cases in mid-December. So, the new variant spreads in humans fast. According to the WHO, each person carrying it is estimated to infect another 1.5 people, up from 1.1 with the original variant. UK officials have said the new variant could be up to 70% more transmissible than the original strain. However, more transmissible doesn't mean more deadly. If we personify the virus, then his mission is to reproduce and spread widely instead of killing the host. If it kills its host before the host infects others, the mutation will disappear as well. In fact, when a virus is trying to enhance its ability to spread, it can also become much weaker. Now we've been told that the transmission rate is higher, but the transmission method is still the same, through respiratory transmission. And what do we know about preventing viruses traveling down your respiratory tract? Wear a mask and keep your hands clean. Please check out this previous Answer Bank episode on how to protect yourself from getting infected. Finally, the biggest concern that most people have. Are the new strains going to make existing and rather promising vaccines less effective? Scientists around the world, including Chinese expert Zhong Nanshan, have told the public there's no evidence so far to suggest that the mutation detected in the UK could undercut COVID-19 vaccines. Moderna, one of the vaccine companies, also said on December 23rd it expects that its COVID-19 vaccine would protect against the new coronavirus variants. Nevertheless, we are still at an early stage with the new variants and no one can say we are 100% safe with the vaccines currently in place. So, in order to not be infected by or spread COVID-19 and its new strains, people still need to social distance. The UK is under another lockdown, just as China's Wuhan, Italy and many other places were earlier this year. If they can do it, so can you. That's it for today. I'm Ning. I'll see you next time.